hello everyone this is game for us in today's new video what we're going to be focusing on today is fixing aim the adrenaline from not launching Not too long ago, I used to have an issue with the 6700 XT where every time when I tried to launch AIM the Adrenaline, nothing would just open up. So the software wouldn't open, nothing. Even when I checked Task Manager, nothing that has anything with the AMD name would show up. So I tried to revert the driver. I tried to install a new driver. And I even tried using DDU to uninstall and reinstall the driver. Nothing really worked. So after that, I found a fix that someone posted on Reddit that wasn't really viewed enough. And that fix was really, really good to the point where I never had an issue with it permanently. And every time when I install a new driver, the whole software would just open up just fine as it was intended for. So in order to fix this issue, I'll put the Reddit link down in the description, close AMD, uh, AMD software. So we go straight to task manager and we basically remove anything with AMD. So Radeon settings, you know, the control panel, the command line or anything like that. So we could get started with um okay i don't know what's going on here it's kind of acting really really weird it's not supposed to do that but you're basically supposed to close all of this stuff okay now it's fully closed <laughs> that was really weird the next thing that you're supposed to do is go to run and go straight to app data so we're not done yet because we're not supposed to be on app data roaming we're supposed to go to app data local in app data local you'll see the amd folder over here and you go straight into the cn folder so this is where it kind of saves stuff like that and here's the most interesting part about all of this you have a file named gmdb.blp and you're wondering what does this file have well it kind of saves some of your stuff on amd adrenaline apparently according to the um, to the reddit user that said about this it actually saves stuff like like game data or something like that so this file right here is the problematic one and this is what's stopping aim the adrenaline from launching so in order to fix this all we need to do is actually delete all of the data okay you can see a, there's a lot of data here and basically just put zero right you just put one simple zero and then you press file and you press save right and as you can see, the file is now one kilobyte, but you're not done yet. The next thing you're supposed to do is go straight to properties, go to security, go straight to administrators, okay, and go straight to advanced. And then the next thing you're supposed to do is actually click on disable inheritance. So when we do that, it should say convert inherited permissions to explicit. You click on this and then afterwards you press on edit and you click on type you're supposed to click on deny and then press ok now the next thing you need to do is remove the remaining um principles and you have to leave administrators alone so you press remove you press remove again for the last one if you have any more principles just remove everything except for administrators you press on apply and then press yes and that's about it so that means that aim the adrenaline it's not going to edit anything on this file. So it's not going to read or write from this file. If you're probably wondering about the file extensions and that you can't really change the file extensions, all you really need to do is basically go to file options, click on, on view, and you can actually uncheck hide extensions for known file types. So when you do that, it would actually, um, you know, show, you know certain extensions like let's say db you know json and stuff like that so that's all you need to do to fix aim the adrenaline from launching and this would still stick um even when you install a new amd driver so i hope you guys would enjoy this video um and if it does work for you leave a like if it didn't well you could leave down a comment or a dislike explaining <clears throat> what went wrong and i could probably help you out with that um so yeah i'm really really happy that this fix actually worked 
and so far you know this person really re uh, needs the recognition i really hope that amd um fixes this issue i don't know if it's either windows or amd but they definitely need to just band together and fix this issue entirely so we don't have to do stuff like this i hope you guys will enjoy this video as always and i'll see you guys next time